Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It Down. Yeah. You had me worried. Honestly, why do you act like that? Throwing yourself headlong into dangerous situations. No more. Do you hear me? If you and I are going to woo and woo with vigor, you're going to be more considerate of my needs. And there are many. <laughs> like sex. I, I mean sex. To show that you're my consort, you should take this. It's a sword. It was my mother's. She was a terrible person. Uh, dead cow. Not as immortal as everyone supposed, was he? At least I had a hand in his defeat. As my mother always said, if you can't be the best at something, find the best, grab onto them, and never let them go. Okay, I do not want to set sail. What do we get there? The Harpy. Originally the figurehead of a pirate sloop, this massive blade is said to be able to hew mast in twain. The painted blade is flecked and cracked with age, but bears the image of a howling, monstrous woman known as the Harpy. Oh, that is super cool looking. Oh, that is a beautiful sword. I wish it was not that bad. That is so good looking. Jeez, man. This weapon, this weapon, or this game's aesthetics just, you can't beat it. Alright, so I'm going to talk to Key. Is he in the f salty passing? Nope, he's off to the side. Thank goodness. I saw you coming. The cards spoke to me like they have not in ages. You are the one I was marooned here to find. My path has been made for me. You see, there are few in this world who can truly plot its course. Many try. But all of them fail. Great figures always rise up. Sometimes the gods create them, and sometimes they create the gods. But true heroes are born. Or in your case, reborn. Don't what's going on with his you neck. You are the scion now, and you carry with you the blessing of Akara. There is no one on this earth more worthy of being called a god than you. That's a little much. And so, I will go. To prepare the way. For when you come, the world changes. And the people must be ready. Buccaneer. By slaying the notorious pirate king Dead Kill, you've proven yourself cunning and resourceful. The master pirate hunter in the vast and treacherous Frostbreak Sea. Plus 3% chance to critical hit, plus 5% physical resist, and minus 10% equip requirements. Signet of the of the Arathi. And key. Before you came, I was waiting to die. I'd given up, you see. But I've seen what you can do. If you can change the world, perhaps I can as well. Not in the same way, of course, but well, enough to make a difference. You're All right. Plus 6% pierce resist, plus 12% elemental resist, and plus 1 mana regen per second. This ancient yet still radiant band shines with the Rothy glyphs. If one listens close, they might hear a whisper. Destiny is yours. So we done with uh Yeah, looks like we're done with the quest for the DLC. Cool. But we still have things to do. We're a master of the keep. That's what we need to do. And we need to go here, talk to Zephwin and Deirdre. Or Deirdre, Deirdre. Whatever it is. Good to see you. Here's all I could find of. I'm ready to go back out again whenever you like. There's a let me know if any of these are worth salvaging. The I'll go check. Be wary. 
Oh wait, what did I just get? Lunala's light, or sight. The spell is held in reverence by the worshippers of the goddess of the moon for its deadliness at night. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, that sounded awful. Did y'all hear that? It sounded like a... Like a nest sound effect or something. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can't finish this petition finally. Hopefully the, uh... Way is no longer blocked. whole pack of bar guests without taking a hit. Fantastic. It's one of these guys. Oh, missed time by a swing. Should have got a third attack off there. Perfect. Oh, I did not recover in time, that's interesting. Oh wow, the uh, Silver Knight is better. I guess that makes sense because all the items are level dependent, so I probably hit the next threshold for the uh, for the level. So I have no idea how to get down here, if I can't get down here now. Maybe I can sail? Let me try setting sail. 
I don't know how to get down there. <laughs> I'll kill Tari myself. Well, I have a quest. Okay. Oh, you've come at last. I've been praying for your return. Cape Solace is under attack. Ships have landed. Prisoners have been taken. We have no one left to protect us. Uh, Otter Malloy. Time is what I need. Time and faith. Not in Akara, but in myself. There was never a god here on Gallows End. But that doesn't mean good things were not done in his name. One day I will understand what that really means. Akara. I will not discuss it. Okay. Uh, who was taken? My daughter Nina and a few others. She must have been poking her nose where it didn't belong, creeping through the crevices of the northern cliffs. How many times have I told her not to venture too far from the village? That girl, when will she open her eyes? Oh, what do the invaders want? They want the power beneath this island, Akara's magic, which many over the centuries have coveted and sought to possess. Understand. Gallows End has long been a prize for the corrupt and the curious. The Arathi, the Alfar, the Tverga, and even Dead Kel. Invaders come brandishing their weapons, but always they are swept back out to sea. They are not welcome here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. I want to believe you. But without our guardian Akara watching over us, we are nothing but victims. Now we face these new invaders and the world alone. Okay. Now tell me about the invaders. They are led by a local far nobleman named Calder Von, a scholar and mage who has studied this island intensely and who wishes to have it for himself. He brings with him the righteous flames of the Niskaru, demons he has harnessed for this purpose and this purpose alone. Huh. All right. I'll rescue your friends. I certainly believe that you will try. But I have learned my lesson. Never again will I place our lives in the hands of another. Don't you understand? We are all alone. Each and every one of us. The prisoners are being kept in a cavern in the northern cliffs. Do your best. That is all any of us can do. Jeez, this guy's having a huge crisis of faith. Uh, where are the other uh, where are the prisoners? It is likely that they are being kept in the landing party's camp in the cliffs to the north. You must move quickly. Oh, must I? All right, let's try this again. Actually, the this is probably done. Let's uh, go talk to Zephwin and Deirdre about the uh, these quests. Then we'll go rescue the prisoners. Find I'm ready to go back out again whenever you like. Please, if any of them seem worthwhile, let me know. They're pro I should be careful. I keep doing the Divergen Raider just in case I get a uh, maybe a set piece. Though I think I'm gonna get all of those from the the map quest that I have. Oh, hi. Journals are almost always fun to translate. Sounds like Prince Kaleva didn't end up in such a bad place. Let me know if you find it. Take care. Prince Kaleva's Journal. A day one. The Baruch of Fear is gone, along with my crew. Maybe I failed to prove my worth to my father, but he was no less hasty in his youth. I'm sure he'll understand. Considering the strength of the storm that surrounds this tiny island, I don't expect to be rescued anytime soon. I'm alone here, but I won't give up. My people won't forget me. Day two. The bodies of my crew have started to wash ashore, bloated and battered by the sea. I've given each of them a proper burial, weighing them down with stones before carrying them into the deepest water that I can reach. They shall toil and fight in the depths forever, while I remain here and watch the endless storm as it mocks me. The Baruch, the Baruch Fakir's corpse, too, is visible upon the reef. It is beyond use. It will soon be washed away by the tempest. Day 3. Do I regret my attempt to reach these shores? Was it a foolish thing to do? Maybe. If I root anything, though, it is the loss of the Baruch, Baruch Fakir. A finest ship was never born upon the bosom of the water, unless it was the Nagwafar. The lives of my crew were theirs to give, 
and they did so gladly. But the ship can't be replaced. And that's the measure of my failure, and the shame that I must bear. Day 4 The bodies have stopped washing up. Only half the crew could be accounted for. Did the others survive? Were they picked up by my father? Or did they sink beneath the water where crabs and eels would feast upon them? Day 5 Today I decided to wander inland. Thirsty, and not to drink from a clear cold pool. I soon discovered I'm not alone here. Fake creatures appeared beautiful and inviting. Though I drew my steel and waited for them to ensorcel me, they refrained from using their magic. Instead, they took me to their leader, who welcomed me warmly. I cannot understand them, but I hope that I will in time. Day 6. The Fae understand me well enough, but I don't have a clue what they're saying. I've asked them to help me return to my people, but they only smile and laugh. I'm quickly becoming frustrated, despite their beauty. I get the impression they're not interested in helping me leave the island of theirs. Or this island of theirs. But I'm bent upon it. I'll get back to my people, even if I have to swim through that infernal storm to do it. A day 7. The four nymphs walked me across their island, pointing out many things. They show me where to find food and water, things that I'll need if I'm to survive. I feel different, but it's hard to say what's changed. As if I was upset last night, but I can't remember why. Maybe it'll come to me later. Maybe. Alright. Let's get rescue some prisoners from some Niskaru mages. And this appears to be the last location on Gallows End, so I feel like this is going to be the, uh, the final quest besides the petitions. I'm gonna have to fight this rock troll again. Or root, root golem, that's what he's called. I still don't know how I'm supposed to get down there. <laughs> I guess it's not this way. I wonder if I have to sail around the, uh, because there's an entrance over here. What does it tell me? We'll head south and see if there's another way down. Yeah, I don't see a way down, so let's, uh, I guess try and sail around the coast. I don't know how else I'm supposed to get there. How could he do this? Hello? Remind me. That I can do. Really? Ugh, nutter. Well, what the heck do I do then? What did I miss? Great, I'm surrounded. <laughs> 
All right, chill out, everybody. I don't want to fight you guys. I'm just trying to figure out how to do my quests. All right, time out. Come here. Let me look at the map again. So there's two, it looks like there's two paths on the map to get down there. I'll figure it out. Let's go back this way. Because, I mean, that's that's a blatantly a path on the map. I mean, as is that. But I can't sail there, obviously. I just tried. <sighs> we'll, f we'll figure it out. I hope. It's going to be something obvious that I missed. Hey, it is something obvious that I missed. Oh, man. Well. Ha! <laughs> oh, there we go. I wonder if that was there the whole time. Or if there was roots blocking the way previously. Hey, Privateer's Hood. Hey, another ancient text. I'll discover this area to fast travel, then I can return to Deidre and have her translate that while we're here. So we'll do real fast. Good to see some monsters chase me away from it's all bagged up. You take care of, of course. I'll deal with the uh, salvage thing off camera. You guys are already back? Take care of this. Two birds with one stone. These are not only taking care of. The side quest, we're also taking care of the petition that we have for uh, Grave Hall. All in one dungeon.
Hey, get down from there. The high ground didn't help him very much, did it? It's a load of baloney. Anki's cow. Anki, a gnome and Chainer crusaded against necromancers. Prepare these relics to protect him from their undead servitors. Or servitors. Not 25% damage resisting it versus undead. Neat. That's the first time we've seen a, that bonus. The, de the dead cow DLC seems to have added a lot of defensive bonus against certain types of enemies. As well as damage bonuses against other types of enemies like... Um, Wounded, heavily wounded, or lightly wounded. This is impressive. Super duper cool. Alright, so we have a few ways to go. Let's go this way first. Keeps going, we're, we're island hopping. It's like bar hopping, but a lot more violent. Just like the Marines in World War II. Probably specify the United States Marines in World War II. Okay. Well, I guess she tuckered herself out. Got tired of dancing. All right. Well, this whole area's been mapped out. Hey, my quest updated. <laughs> oh, so that's the way back. We don't need to go there yet. We'll just, uh, I'm sure we have to come back that way when we leave. Is that a freaking shark nose as a fish? Let's probably look out, make sure. 
giant things are swimming underneath me. You can never be too careful. I wonder if this is a dead end. Wait, did he go outside? Ancient text. <laughs> hey, another map fragment. Uh, Cape Solace. I think that is. Last piece of that one. Cool. Nina, did that make it? Oh no. Is that my fault for sending her after their leader? Press a letter from the fa from a father to a daughter. Whoops, meant to read it. Because we made that decision really early on. And sent her... To my Nina, on her fifth birthday. Grow up strong, grow up bright, grow up swift, grow up wise. Fear nothing, embrace everything. Of the world you've been given, and do your part to protect it. Grow up, Nina, but don't grow up too fast. Love, Father. I wonder if that's my fault for sending her here. That, oh, I hope not. Scuttler. Sailors tell of a mysterious monster that haunts the deeps and pulls ships into the watery abyss. The only man do, who claimed to see the beast and live cut this tentacle, one of hundreds, from the beast before he swam to safety. What is it? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Someone knew exactly what they were doing when they designed that weapon. of such wicked rapture that his heart burst with wrathful fires. Onward he crept, until in scornful conflict man met beast with blood-tooth gnashing. Down the beast fell, her crimson robe swirling, souls were awash in her ruin as the bright tide rose to meet them. Lo, we sing of Olsen's son, Drogbane, Beast Slayer, mighty Lord of Grave Hall, and Storm Sent King on High. Alright, 
Alright, come on, bandits. Also, I just realized these are the Red Legion bandits, like the, uh, those guys we ran to early on in the game. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's like, this is just a dead end. Nope, it's the way we need to go. I need to go talk to him as well. Forgot about that. Why is he over there? Well, let's go talk to Tari real quick because we did kill the Scion for him. What news? So you. You killed her. I don't know what to feel. I've dreamt of this day ever since I was pulled from that stinking black raft. Since I watched them roll my mother in a shroud. And she was right. I don't feel better now that I've avenged her death. It just makes me miss her more. Thank you. Take this, it was mother's. I have my memories. Goodbye. Okay, he gave us an accessory. Strand of the Shifting Sea. Whoops, hit my desk. 5% uh, chance to steal 17 health per hit. 5% chance to steal 17 mana per hit. This weathered fey token has been bleached by the sun and worn by the waves. I... Alright, let's go deal with... Valder Krom, or whatever his name was. Easy peasy. Maelstrom. A burnished silver band bearing etchings of the sea. 3% chance of critical hit with magic and plus 15% critical hit damage with magic. What's that to my... Go with Verilin. Once again, a threat to Gallows End has been defeated. I wish I could say it was the first such attack. But perhaps a new season has begun. One where we must fend for ourselves and not fall back on the promises of a faceless god. I don't know who you are, stranger. But your presence here has shaken us. We will survive. But it will take time. <laughs> This heavy spiked bronze helm was forged by the Diverga as a part of a ceremony honoring the elements. It is engraved with the word Verilin, the word for the island of Gallows End. So we found, I think, three unique pieces of might armor? This is goodbye. So we've been on Gallows End. I wonder how they look together. And if I could find two more pieces, I'd be in even better shape. I don't know why this is marked as a quest. Oh, the Bergen Ceremonial Helm.
So an 8-yet sturdy ceremonial helm was crafted by Divergus Smiths as a gift for a human dignitary who died before he could accept it. We've read the rest of that. Now back to Aubrey. Still hunting for treasure. You've returned. I'm glad. I've come to know so few people. Ones I still remember after a day's passing, that is. I discovered no new maps. However, I did finally recall how I came to be on this lonely rock. Whether I wished to or not. Dead Kel attacked our ship. There were too few escape craft, and so Oath Theswin, my mentor, a man who had been like a father to me, pushed me over the edge. That's when I struck my head when I forgot. The last thing I remember is watching the galley sail away. All hands on deck, but me. Uh, dead kill. He attacked our ship, caused such a panic that my companions deserted me. I have to live with that for the rest of my life. Gallows End. This island is exceptional among the Diverga outposts. It is the only one they ever abandoned without a fight. Diverga do not do such things. Well, it kind of sounds like they had a fight. Hmm. Four pieces. Did she give me another piece? How are you? Oh wait, hold on. It says completed. I'm definitely missing a piece. No, I never found... the piece of Scuttle Beach, right? Or is that the last one that I just picked up for the helmet? Definitely missing a piece. Alright, let me get a Great Fall Keep real fast. Let me get an accounting of all the uh, Diverga pieces I've found. Alright, so we're gonna get rid- well, I'm gonna sell most of these. I'll keep the harpy, because it's super duper cool. Uh, one of these I'm gonna keep as well, it's not that one. I'm gonna keep this one, and... I think that was it. Alright, so let's uh, look at our armor here. The Virgin Curious. Divergen Helmet, Divergen Chaucer and Greaves. I don't think we have the gauntlets. Don't tell me that, like the last piece you have to get randomly. Yeah, I definitely don't see it. I wonder if it bugged out or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, because we got the Leviathan Shell, Skull of Verilin, and the Stonehand Gauntlets here. And the Wicked Sabatons. If I had a unique set of Chaucies, we could try that out. Regardless, I think I'm going to call the episode here off camera. I'm going to see what's going on with this set. Because it looks pretty cool. And I would like to have the gauntlets for it. I get, I mean, I have the full effect for it. But we'll see. Oh, that's so disappointing. I wonder... Yeah. I guess I'll... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, the next one we'll talk to Deidre. We'll continue with the petitions. Probably wrap up Gallows End altogether. And then uh, set sail back to Rathir. And pursue the... Uh, the mainland quests. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.